Here, we are with another strange yet interesting case of alien abduction. Here is the story of the strange case of Air Force Sergeant Charles L. Moody. On 13 August 1975, at 1.20 a.m., a 32-year-old veteran Air Force Sergeant named Charles L. Moody drove out to the desert of Alamogordo, New Mexico. He was there to see a meteor shower that was due to occur. However, he saw much more than a meteor shower. As he was watching the shooting stars, a growing 50-foot-long, 18 to 20-feet-wide, metallic, saucer-shaped aircraft landed about 70 feet away from him. There was a clearly audible high-pitched humming sound, coming from the craft. He further noticed, a rectangular window in the craft through which, to his surprise, he observed shadows resembling human forms. Ostensibly frightened, he jumped into car in an attempt to drive away. But the odds out of favor to him, his car would not start. His body grew numb and pale in fear, and only to make it worse, the object suddenly took off. Phew! He must have been such relieved. Moody, in his absolute excitement raced home to tell his wife. He was rather shocked to find how two hours had already passed, and it was 3 a.m., leaving him to wonder if he had been taken on board. Surprisingly, a rash broke out over his lower body. Seems like the aura of alien abduction had begun. He consulted the physician, for consultation who recommended him to self-hypnotize himself, to recall what was lost in the missing time period. In the beginning, he did not remember a thing, until a few weeks later, he could connect the dots and finally recall everything that had actually happened. Once his memory retrieved, he remembered that he was in fact, taken on board the UFO. Remember, the numbness he felt over this body? Next thing he observed, there were several alien beings, exiting the aircraft and approaching his car. Moody says, the beings were about 5 feet tall and very much like us except their heads were larger and hairless, their ears were very small, eyes a little larger than ours, nose small and the mouth had very thin lips. I would say their weight was maybe between 110 to 130 pounds. They have speech, but their lips did not move. Their type of clothing was skin tight. I could not see any zippers or buttons at all. The color of their clothes was black except for one of them who had a silver white looking suit on. The alien leader telepathically asked, if Moody was willing to behave peacefully. When, Moody agreed to, the leader applied a rod-like device to his back, releasing him from the temporary paralysis. Then, Moody was taken to another room, very clean and with white rounded walls, in direct lighting. One of the beings examined and told him, I will not hurt you. We are not meant to hurt you. They even let Moody, see the engine room on his request. There, he saw a complex machine long metallic rods and large, crystal-like spheres. The ETs explained that the ship operated using the principle of positive and negative magnetic poles. They told him that they had a much larger mothership, and that there were many other races of ETs who were also observing and studying the planet. They warned him against the use of nuclear weapons. He was promised a future meeting with the ETs but warned that closer contact with Earthmen would not be attempted for another 20 years. They further told him, that one fine day they would reveal their existence publicly to the world. Finally he was informed that, it was time for him to go, but he wouldn't remember for a few days, until his memory returns. He was placed back in his car, while he saw the UFO take off. Moody realized the incident of alien abduction, on board was very important, and hence contacted the UFO investigators. However, after thorough investigation by investigator Jim Lorenzen, a couple of unsolved contradictions, in Moody's account. Today, however, Moody's case remained undisputed, probably even accepted. Now, that we have already talked about the different cases of alien abduction, we see patterns of similarity and differences between them. Comment below. If you have figured the similarities and differences out,